Welcome to the Sunshine State. That's beautiful. Blue guys. Hello. Um, a little bit of unfortunate news. Not really sure what's going on. Okay, I got no line. <laughs> so, hey, Lucas, let me see him. This is Josh. This is also Josh. This oh is, gosh. This is me. <laughs> it looks it looks just like me. It was both mine and Lucas's first time visiting the East Coast. And actually Lucas's first time flying, so it was a lot of fun. Lucas, where are we? Denver International Airport, about to meet up with <laughs> Ethan Klickstein, my guy. There's a six hour layover on our flight to Tampa, so we're gonna spend it hanging out with the boys and possibly go train and jump. At this point, we had gone outside of the airport and we met up with Ethan and I was so excited to see him, I just dropped my bag and gave him a big hug. How you doing? What's, up? What's up, Ethan? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you again, bro. Hi, let's hey. Heck yeah, Lucas. battery died uh, when we got to Apex so uh, there's a couple fun clips we got but uh, we finished up there got an uber to Denver International and now we're getting our flight to Florida Josh and I walked our entire way out of the airport to an IHOP and then walked for about another hour and a half until we got to a Wawa and then we got an Uber all the way out to the location spot where the USA Parkour Cup was being held. Oh dude, look at look at this sick parkour competition. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we're hanging out. They just finished uh, youth speed, and now they're doing youth uh, freestyle up next. Um, so we're either gonna stick around and watch some youth freestyle, or we're gonna go get some more food. Let's figure it out. Ooh, okay, well we got our hotel room. Shout out to the lady who let us check in at one o'clock, or no, it's like, what is it? It's still 11. Yeah, it's 11.30. It's 11.30. We were supposed to check in at three. Yeah, and so. We got to get in early, so. So shout out to lady who gave us room early. Now we're going to catch some sleep and then head back to the competition and see what's going on. Woo! We're back up, gonna go grab some food and head to the comp. Yeah. Alright, well, 
Um, a little bit of unfortunate news. Um, when Lucas and I were signing up for this competition, we, we, we thought that freestyle uh, was only on Sunday. Um, but we got to the competition uh, expecting uh, uh, a men's skills to be going on, and it was actually a men's freestyle qualifier. So Lucas and I also thought we were already qualified for the finals. We're not really sure what's going on. Uh, at this point, they've said they don't know if we can compete. Uh, at the very least, they did say that we can compete, and they'll even give us a score, but that score will mean nothing. Uh, so, like, like if one of us did a great run and, and, and placed, it would pretty much mean nothing. So, um, right now, they are setting up for uh, like a jam or something. So me and Lucas are just gonna go uh, play around. Um, and, and hopefully someone will tell us if we can compete or not, because it, it would be a real shame to come all the way out here and, and not compete. At the very least, you know, we're gonna be able to do something. And at the end of the day, we're on the East Coast, all the way across the country, in Tampa, Florida. And it's a new experience regardless. We get to meet new people, we get to experience training with extremely high-level athletes and being judged by high-level athletes. So it's going to be a growing experience regardless. And I think that there's a lot that we can learn from, from this, just this entire trip. Wow. <laughs> that was very nice, Lucas. Yeah. Lucas is right. Like, we're on the, we're on the East Coast. I'm, I'm so just excited to be out here. It's so crazy. So if we can't compete, I guess we're just going to go train a bunch, get a bunch of cool footage. Um, but either way, I think we'll have fun and uh, we'll, we'll make a day out of it. Well, it is 8.16. They said we could have open gym or open jam at like 8, but we've been up here. So we're going to go down there and see if we can start jumping around. Yeah. Look, look those guys are going to start jumping. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Lucas is going to do a thing. But Robbie's in the way, get out of the way, Robbie. There's Lucas. Oh, too clean. So clean, Lucas. <laughs> Good job. Except those two kids. Like nobody came to the open jam. There's like not even anyone really watching. They kind of just kind of just left it open, I guess. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That hat sucks. Yeah, lay on that floor. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that was so sick. 
Oh my. Had a lot of fun uh, training on on the whole competition setup. The the like concrete that it's on is super dusty and slippery, so that's not very fun. Um, but the blocks are pretty cool. Bar setup's a little shaky, but they got nice bars, so that's fun. Um, and got a bunch of cool footage. So you just saw it. Um, so at this point, we're going to hang out, eat some pizza, and hopefully um, get a text or a call from one of the people in charge of the competition and they're gonna let us know if we can compete or not or if we can do anything at all um, nice. whether we can compete or not we wanna have a good time cause we're in Florida and got a bathroom and a hangar so it's pretty cool we got a TV! we got a TV! look at this! look at that! So uh, one of the people I talked to about being able to compete said that they would call or text me and Lucas um, later later yesterday. Uh, we never really got a text or a call or anything from anybody. So we're gonna show up at the comp and say, "Can I pretty please compete?" And hopefully they say yes. Hopefully I get to do something. Oh, Alright, time to go. So, Lucas, do you have any words? It's wet. <laughs> Welcome to the Sunshine State. The Sunshine State. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so we got here. Uh, they let us warm up just in case we could do anything. Uh, the verdict was still um, you guys can compete if no one shows up or if someone gets hurt. So, since uh, hopefully no one gets hurt and since uh, everyone showed up, it looks like all me and Lucas are going to get to do is an exhibition run, meaning before everyone does their freestyle lines, uh, Lucas and I are going to walk up on the course, we're going to do some stuff, and then they're going to say, okay. Okay. So I think I'm just going to go try to have fun and goof off a little bit, spin around. Um, for the exhibition run, I, I just really want to have fun with it, really. I mean, I'm not nervous or anything. I feel like I'm just kind of performing I guess and we've done performances for them and it was pretty easy so I mean there's no pressure or anything although I would prefer the pressure of competition yeah <laughs> um, I really like competing um, especially against some of these guys like Sean Matisse and Sean Williams they're, they're like amazing athletes and uh, some of these other guys like JB they were doing like crazy stuff so yeah it's gonna be fun to see what everyone else does today too yeah I think I'm, I'm really excited to see everyone else's run as well because they're pretty cool. Yeah. Cool, we're finishing up with, uh, this is what, this, they call this the skills comp. Uh, it's like best trick in, uh, in like all four different spots. So like bar, uh, height drop, uh, you can't see it, but there's, there's a vault and a ramp block over there. Um, I don't know why they call it a skills comp, because it really is just best trick. It, it, it's so dumb. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's Sean Higgins. No, I don't know. We don't, I don't know. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, they're going to finish up, and then uh, Lucas and I, uh, I, I think they have to rearrange the course, and then Lucas and I are going to do our exhibition run. I think there's one other guy doing an exhibition run as well. I think there's one other person. Yeah. Like three exhibition runs, and then they're going to start the run. Yeah. Okay, so we've found this little bar uh, that's kind of just on the floor, so we're doing some warm-up on it. Uh, I think they are almost done with the course setup. I think they are kind of securing everything. They're going to sweep everything off so it's not super dusty. Um, nice. <laughs> and warming up on the rail. Before we knew it, we were going live on YouTube and about to perform. All right, let's make some noise for Lucas. Lucas left 45 seconds once he gets a thumbs up. Exhibition freestyle round. Looks like he's chalking up, maybe getting ready to do a bar trick. Let's see what he has in store for us. All right, he's giving me a thumbs up. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Starts off with a, whoa, big toe circle around the bar. 
Nice little wall spin on the on the bar rails. Ooh, Kong into a safety. Oh, a nice D leg. Nice off axis spin right there into a waffle. I do like those waffles. And he's gonna call it. Make some noise for Lucas. Very clean exhibition run. Everything well executed. Very nice, very nice. Awesome by Lucas. All right. Our third and final exhibition runner. Make some noise for Josh Malone. We have a lot of good competitors tonight. I'm excited to see what they all have in store for us. They've been warming up for the past, I think, half hour. All right, Josh Malone's getting his chalked up on his hands, making sure he's got the grip, no slip. All right, waiting for that thumbs up. Getting focused right now. Thumbs up. All right, here we go. In three, three two, two, one, go! Starts off with a flyaway precision onto the box. Into a wrap full off of it. Ooh, a nice little backhand swing to double full off of the drop. Beautifully landed. Tight twisting from Josh Malone. Into a gate flip. Nice side flip precision onto the box. Reverse vault down, scoot. <laughs> Crazy little Josh yeah. Malone. Make some noise for Josh. Wow, and that was just an exhibition run. That was beautiful. Wow, what a wild style he's got there. My favorite thing was that definitely that back handspring across the those double Kong box, and then I did not expect him to do anything after, and then he pulled out a <laughs> flip with a double twist. Yeah, man. That was beautiful. That was probably my favorite thing. They did a really good job live streaming the whole event. If you guys want to go check out the whole event, I'll make sure there is a link in the description that you guys can follow and go check it out. Everyone is heading out. They just finished uh, men's freestyle. Lucas and I did our exhibition runs and kind of just came up here and started watching people. Everyone went like super it hard. Was really hard. Yeah. A lot of people went real hard. Uh, yeah. I think that everyone showcased a little bit of like themselves, which is what I like to see in competition. Yeah. I think you have to in a competition of this setting because if you're not unique, if you're like literally just, if you're doing the same move that everyone else is, then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas is actually doing an interview with some WFPF people. I'm not sure what they're going to talk about. Um... After my interview with the WFPF, we went back to our hotel room to catch some sleep and then hopefully wake up early so that we can catch some legendary Tampa spots. Oh man. Well, it is like nearly nine o'clock already. So we kind of slept in a bit later than we wanted to. Um, but I don't think it's raining outside. So we're still gonna go try to train for, I guess we have like an extra hour to train before we gotta get on our plane. So I gotta clean this room up a little bit, get all our stuff. And then, gonna go train. It, it's a little wet. <laughs> yeah, it's damp. It's damp for sure. But we're at this Curtis, Curtis, Hickson. Curtis Hickson Park. We just finished up at this like dog park thing we found. We were walking, <laughs> we were walking back down to the street, and we just found this uh, spot. I, I don't know if it has a name. I guess it's like the overpass spot. 
Yeah, some cool stuff has been done here. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you're good. After that, we hopped on the plane, and besides the long ride home, that was pretty much it for our trip to Tampa. It was a really great experience getting to visit the East Coast. We want to say thank you one more time to Freedom in Motion for sponsoring this trip and helping us get out to the East Coast to compete.